Hello. Hello, am I speaking with Professor Kitagawa? Yes, I'm speaking. <laughs> Hello. Congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> One of the things that is special about your work, perhaps, is that now everybody talks about the application of metal organic mm -hmm. frameworks. Many people at, in the 90s mm -hmm. were not convinced mm -hmm. that this was a system that could work, but you continued to work right. on it. <laughs> uh, because the, my, 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 you know, any time I try to do something with big challenge in mind, so the, if this is impossible, the several people said this is impossible, and this cannot be realized, I have a very big motion, okay, strong motion <laughs> to create new materials. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that is, in a sense, in the tradition of Kyoto University. Kyoto University is a creation of knowledge. We need to show absolutely the origin of the science or origin of materials. So my environment just support me to do so. That's a, such an important point that to create a, a good research environment is a very special thing. Yes, also tradition. Another thing I, I would say, the uh, 1983, the Professor Fukui was awarded the Nobel Prize in the quantum orbital theory in the quantum chemistry. Mm. So the Fukui is my academic grandfather uh -huh. in the laboratory. And I am the grandson in the almost the same laboratory. That's lovely. And also the Yoshino, he, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in the lithium battery. He is my senior in the same laboratory. Really? Akira Yoshino? Yes. So that means the Fukui and Yoshino, uh, second generation Skip and the Yoshino and myself. This is a kind of a very big tradition to doing the original work. Oh. Of course, in the Fukui is a uh, quantum chemistry. Yoshino is a solid state energetic materials. Myself is a support materials. They're different, but the uh, way of thinking is similar. Exactly. I, I imagine working with people like that, you learn how to attack big challenges, how to how yeah. to ask the biggest possible question. How would you describe your approach to asking questions? How do you get it right? Of course, the as you know, the, my background in the physical chemistry, in the quantum chemistry. Mm. So I am very much interested in the solid state properties. Just imagine in the case of solid state properties in the electric conductivity and also the magnetic properties. These systems are very condensed, okay, dense system. So that means no pores. But in a big event the I had in the, when I was at a private university and in the computer center to analyze the crystal structure and accidentally we observe the uh, porous structure. So I just think, oh, this is very good direction <laughs> using this porous uh, coordination polymer. So I quickly change my target to the porous system. So you have to keep your eyes open for possibilities to follow. Yes, yes, <laughs> eyes open for the porous materials. So the Louis Pasteur said, the chance, pre uh, chance favors prepared mind. That's it. Exactly. So the, I learned in uh, several places, I did not reject the, the, my experience. So that means accumulated in my mind. Exactly so. And the American medical educator, mm -hmm. Abraham Flexner, he wrote this book in 1939 mm -hmm. called The Usefulness of Useless Knowledge. <laughs> Imagine 2,400 years ago, this kind of person in the Chantu already thought about these things. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Yukawa, uh, he is the first Nobel laureate in Japan in the physics and the elementary particles. He loves to read the Chinese, the, this kind of the, you know, literatures. So the, he wrote a lot, lot of things about this kind. I, I read his essays and several things. Truly, you have a prepared mind, mm. then. You, <laughs> yeah, 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 prepared mind. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it all takes a lot of work as well. I mean, one of the things that one has to understand about all of this is that you have to work very, very hard. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, of course. This is the mind of, of the researcher in Japan. <laughs> Don't switch off light, <laughs> even at night. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, well. So and then in this case, you're well prepared for what is happening to you now because I know that nobody is letting you switch yeah. off the light these days. Thank you very much. It's been a huge pleasure speaking to you. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Raja. Okay, okay. thank you. So bye-bye. Bye. You just heard a special episode of Nobel Prize Conversations. For more listening, we think you'll enjoy our brand new bonus episode, where Adam reveals what really gets our laureates celebrating. You can hear it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.